What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's start this video with none other than the former two times Mr. Olympia Big Romy. Supposedly, this is the most recent update from him. And if that is true, we might very well be witnessing a great comeback at this upcoming Arnold Classic Ohio. And that is gonna be in 12 weeks time. Yes, I think he is 12 weeks out at this point, if this is in fact a recent one. So for those of you guys who have forgotten, the Arnold Classic 2023 was the last show that he did. And although he did not rule out the possibility of him doing the Olympia this year, but eventually he pulled out of the show because he needed more time for that stem cell treatment to work. So the first question is, does he still have the same drive? Does he still have the same passion? I think that he has, but the physique isn't the same anymore. Rami has been a pro for more than a decade now. He isn't a young guy anymore. His waist isn't the same anymore as it was back in 2013 or 2014. But the man still has plenty of size and stage presence. And honestly, the last time he gave an interview to Dennis James, he said that he doesn't care about where he places. He will compete again for the love of bodybuilding. And I'm sure the people at the Arnold Classic will love to see him on the stage. And so will the fans in 12 weeks time. Akeem the Beast Williams just gave us a glimpse of how he is looking right now. He's gonna come back next year after taking most part of 2023 off. And that happened because of a shoulder surgery and the recovery time that he needed afterwards. It was the first time since 2019 that Akeem Williams did not compete at Mr. Olympia. But all for a great reason that once he is fully healed, he still has enough left in him to be considered a top 10 Olympian. Now, looking at the current men's open roster, top 10 seems to be extremely difficult for a guy like Akeem Williams. And the reason is he loses so much ground in both of the back shots. Akeem is a big guy, there is no doubt. He is wide. And for the amount of mass that he carries, he flows extremely well. His waist comes in super nice, especially in some of the front shots. But another factor is he isn't a guy who is consistent with his conditioning. I don't think he ever topped his 2020 package, the one where he got sixth at the Olympia behind William Bonnock. So it is gonna be great to see him come back because he says he will finally be able to train the way he wanted to, the way he used to before that accident happened where he injured his neck. If anyone deserves all those fruits, that has got to be Michael the Bull, the most shredded man alive in the current era of the sport. So what did you guys think? Is that a true statement? Or did I just exaggerate it a bit? But if you guys think there is someone more shredded than this man, please do let me know in the comments below. So anyone who is dieting right now, take it from Michael the Bull that this miserable time will eventually pass and you will get to enjoy all the delicious food if you give everything to your prep and perhaps you will mentally be at peace that you have on this hall. Give me all the fat. All the fat. Mm. Wow. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.